Hi, this is Zach Nell, and I will be narrating my Art 4901 project titled Dame Julie Andrews Throws Away British Adequate. This ended up being a rather interesting project because originally I was going to do an animation, but due to situations arising and stuff like that I decided to do something that I rather enjoyed doing which was a uh, large-scale portraiture um, usually the first thing you know is the hardest part um, when doing a portrait this large um, just trying to get measurements right the proportions right like um, Usually what, how I do it is um, I'll use uh, digital calipers and just measure the source image which is just on a standard 8 by 11 uh, inch paper and I'll just um, convert what I get like in inches like say the eyes width is 2 inches in the source image and I would convert that by like multiplying by say five or something like that you know i'd get you know 10 inches for the eye on the actual drawing itself <clears throat> uh, in the beginning it seemed like i it's all i mean it's always like this but it's like trying to get um my proportions right it's just the hardest thing like getting the values it's relatively easy, but very, like the most time consuming. Um, but getting uh, the proportions right is generally the hardest thing. Um, and maybe it's just because of the size. I mean, it's just this is a three and a half foot by five foot two um, roll of paper. Um, it's a Stratomore 400 series, um, pretty good, thick quality paper. Um, you know, oftentimes um, when I uh, get the composition sketched out, my portion set, I uh, like to sketch out my shadow shapes, um, and usually I start off on the face, and. Um, it's just a way of just kind of, um, I guess, making it easier on myself. Um, just marking it all, like just sketching out every single little shadow shape that I can possibly see in the image, which sometimes can be somewhat difficult because I go by a printed image just because it's convenient. Um, so, uh, as far as the subject matter is concerned, uh, I chose Julie Andrews just because um, I'm a huge fan of her. Um, I loved her um, in Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Um, she's, you know, oftentimes seen in the public eye as being this very formal um, person and. Um, you know, lots of adequate, all that. You know, she's from Walton on the Thames, uh, it's, uh, uh, English countryside, um, and um, she is a dame, which is the woman equivalent of being ranked a knot. Um, so I just in this project, I wanted to show. I mean, I've never really met her, but like, I kind of want to just show what I feel like she is. Like, just after you know, seeing her documentaries and all that, and I don't know, just stories that she's talked in the past. You know, there was one where um, she mentioned uh, she was with Carol Bur uh, Burnett, um, and they were like completely wasted, and uh, Car uh, Carol. Um, was just like yelling out that you know she was friends with 
Mary Poppins, and this was like after, right after Mary Poppins came out, probably like a year or two. So, um, I thought that was just funny. Imagining Julie Andrews being drunk. <laughs> but, um, I guess that's just the, the, the reason why I, as far as like, uh, alterate, alterating, um, the image itself, the only thing I really changed was the mouth, um, and which was a challenge in itself because I photoshopped it just a little bit too small, but um, I mean, as far I mean, it, you know, it turned out okay. I just think it, it it goes along with like I guess her hairstyle, you know, is kind of what maybe like drew me into wanting to kind of like present her in this like cheeky kid-like manner um you know like a side of her that you don't really see you know um she's you know very humorous um and um so getting the face done was by far the most important thing and this is the hardest thing as of yet I mean this is a work in progress and um, obviously I still gotta get the values of the hair and the hat and the shirt and neck and then I've gotta figure out my background which as of right now I'm thinking about doing something that references her you know nationality, you know, which was, you know, she's British, um, and, or, you know, something that references the Walton on the Thames, because it's her hometown, um, just something subtle, um, but I want it to be a somewhat, um, dark, uh, dark background, but not too dark, um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I, if I had to guess, this is probably going to be a pretty big project. I mean, it's going to take me another 200 plus hours. I mean, and again, this was a kind of a last minute decision. And, um, I mean, for what it's worth, I think it, you know, this is the best face I've ever drawn, uh, drawn and um, I'm pretty happy with the proportions and everything. It's just a matter of, get, like, just getting in the values and figuring out my, what I'm going to have as the background, and that'll be it. Um, but yeah, uh, so far I've really enjoyed this, and... Uh, Hopefully it's the highlight of my portfolio. So, yep, that's it. So, hopefully, yeah, this will turn out. Bye.